everybody, I just finished that video with the blue ornament. I'm just kind of getting these in the picture so you can see that I'm going to use my black gold. I might use the stargazer, but my dominant color, of course, is going to be, if you mean of course, this beautiful Christmas green. Like I did the red, gold, and black ornament. I kind of want to do a uh, gold, green, and black. I'm going to mix up my two little dirty pores first. If you guys have I just stumbled on this video and didn't see the other two, I recommend you watch the video where I did the red star, then the blue star. I just finished it. It's going to be edited around the same time as this one. And then this is the third one for today on Sunday, um, Sunday just before Halloween. 2017. So I think I'm going to start with some gold on the bottom, similar how I did that red ornament. Put a little bit of gold. Now this is uh, primary elements mixed, one eighth of a teaspoon to one to two ounces of vivid clear enamel. You can find it on our website if you want to know how I mix the paint. Watch video 13a. We're going to try to keep these little ornament videos in different colors super short. If I can keep them under five minutes, that'd be great because then you can see them faster. They don't take six hours to upload. Just a few drops of black. Black has a tendency to dominate transparent colors. Get some more green in there. A little bit more gold. few little drops of black. Ah, that was more than a few drops of black. Now I'm really going to have to compensate with my green. Let's hope we don't lose it. I don't know. I'm not stuck on putting a stargazer in at this point. I think I'm just going to take my chances and then if the ornament looks like it needs a little excitement, I'll have that other color. But I'm going to stick to these three colors just like I did the red, black, and gold. Give them a simple stir. The black is the only color that does not have silicone. The other two do. Let me set these aside because I'm going to actually prime the ornament with a little black and gold around the edges. Hopefully I'm going to get better at this. <laughs> more and more I do. This will be my third time doing the star ever and third one today. So I'm going to edge the background, just like to put it in negative space in a pour with gold. The only thing is it gets messy at this point, and black. And I'm hoping I can get this all in the video. So I'm basically going around the edges of the star. Adding in some gold, and then I'll add in the black. Now, I put the gold in first because I really want it to be a nice dominant background color, but I'm going to try my very best to actually edge the ornament with the black. Best I can. It's actually better the faster that I do this, the better it is. So. Hopefully you can see everything I'm doing here. I know we got a little black in there, just for some accent. Now let's try to put our dirty pores in here. I'm trying to do this without those little salsa cups underneath this to stabilize it. That might have been a mistake. The first two I use those little salsa cups. Yeah, see that black that I put too much black in there is kind of dominating the ornament. Look at that color of green. That 
that is green. If I had to guess what color green this is, I would say it's probably Irish Mist. Irish Mist is uh, very much like the look of the Irish, just like it sounds. Very, very much Kelly green, but very, very bright. I'm going to add one little drop of black. Let's see if I can't get that just to bane in. I'm loving what's happening here. We're actually getting cells. I feel like I need to do a tiny little add to my dirty pour. A little more green. Just a drop of black. Some of the cold, just so we're consistent. Give it a stir. And I'm going to try to get it right there. This is bare glass. Swish it back and forth. Oops, you can't really see me do that, can you? Gosh, don't know. I'm sorry, guys. I swished it back and forth. Just like we do on a canvas. And I'm going to draw that green down into the gold. Get my patterns all the way down. have any left in it. Your dirty pour is good to the last drop, especially on these little itty bitty 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 cups. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I like that corner. This needs a little bit more love. But what do I do to make it kind of Interesting. Do I do another dirty pour? Do I add just a tiny dribble of black right here? One drop of black. Let's see if I can't draw that down into the paint. One little dribble of green there. I'm just kind of going on winging it here, whatever's making me feel like it's complete. This is a little bit too heavy gold. Uh, I'm actually going to take another little, just a few drops of colors. Make it feel like another little dirty pour. One little drop of black in there. Swirl it around. I know my hand's in the way. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm dribbling it down here. Hopefully you can see it. I think I lost my paper plate. <sighs> Normally I'm having it sit on a paper plate so it can capture all that paint. Now the colors that I've used in these three videos, everything that's being trapped in this container underneath, I've been pouring off in little cups. And I'm going to try to use them in an actual pour, a canvas pour. The first one, the red, gave me the most beautiful chestnut brown. This blue one I haven't really looked at, but of course there's a lot of blue and gray and silver in it. Not sure if these are going to go together. 
Of course, this one's going to be dominantly green and gold. Look at how beautiful that is. Jeez Louise. That's flipping amazing. Okay, now one thing I've learned about these stars today, as soon as I flip it over, the back side can be just as gorgeous. I kind of want this to set up just a little bit before I hang it because I'm liking this marbling that I'm getting. It's just for guns and giggles and I don't know if I can flip this over and get you guys to see this on the camera. I haven't figured this part out yet. How to carefully pick it up and not ruin it, but the back side. If you can see that back side at all. Look what happens to the back side. It dries with these beautiful patterns. All right now I'm going to lay it right back down again so it has a chance to cure a little bit like this. We're going to upload this video. This was Irish Mist Artist Lock Black Solar Gold mixed in uh, the solar gold and the artist and the Irish mist were mixed in um, vivid clear enamel which is stunning on glass ornaments the enamel is beautiful it's like putting a magnifying glass on top of the shimmering paint I hope you enjoy I'm going to come back with another color combination I'm thinking of doing something in purple and turquoise talk to you guys in a bit bye